When I was in high school, it never occurred to me to think about going to a school that was international. So, Adam, if you and you will both talk about that, Lindsay, that would be great. Uh, well, I'll start in just with some of the differences. Um, in Australia, we do entirely just three-year degrees. Uh, so it's a bit of a different process in that you're expected to kind of come in knowing what you want to do or want to study. Uh, so you, the advantages of that is if you do, you can start on day one taking your exact specific classes and what you're going to be doing. Um, I mean, some other differences just overall in that you're obviously with us in Australia halfway around the world. Uh, so it is something to consider before going into it. Um, but it gives you a totally, you know, if you're looking to go into any kind of international field, it's a huge advantage uh, being able to stay, being able to say that you studied at a university outside of the States and had that international experience. Adam? Um, it's uh, easy to apply to Canadian schools. That's one thing I'll share with you. We don't work on the common application. Um, so for a student to apply to the University of Toronto, it should take you about a half an hour. The reason for that is all online. We don't ask for essays. We don't ask for reference letters. There's no recommendations. It's merit-based. So with the, hand, with the exception of a couple of programs, it'll take you a half an hour to apply, send us your test scores, send us your midterm results from senior year, and you're done. So ease of application is one thing. Um, education in Canada, just like our health care, is subsidized. So you get a very strong quality of education across the entire country. So more and more students from around the world, especially the U.S., are coming to Canada because they can get a strong quality of education that has that recognition, that portability, but it's also reasonably uh, priced. And, uh, you know, from Atlanta, it's an hour flight direct. So, um, or sorry, it's just over two hour flight direct. Uh, I'm still jet lagged from all my other flights. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Toronto is one of the most diverse cities in the world. 50% uh, of the population have been born outside of Canada and speak a language other than English. So talk about a diverse city. Most Americans will say Toronto is like uh, New York. It's just smaller, cleaner, and safer. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of benefits of studying internationally. There's so many great schools here in the U.S., but you know it's great to look outside of the U.S. because you could find that perfect match as well. It could be a school that's higher ranked. It could be a school that's cheaper. So just keep uh, schools outside of the U.S. in mind because there's some really good schools that aren't that far away. 